going on everybody? This is Tim Eric here at Dual Throw Outdoors. Here to do a video on <clears throat> jig trailers. Now, as you might know, there are many jig trailers made by many different companies. Uh, no shortage of options, but I keep it down to about five or six that I really like and have had success on. Um, <clears throat> we're going to talk about the different situations where you want to use each jig trailer and why. So we're going to start with being the year. You know, late winter, you can get them 30 degree water days, um, early spring, 40 degree water days in the spring, and then even up to low to mid 50s for this bait. And what are we talking about here? A zoom chunk or whatever brand of chunk you prefer. I just happen to have the zoom. I just have it in green pumpkin and black and blue. Um, been a good bait for me for uh, for cold water. Um, and what makes this good in cold water is it's a subtle action cold water you don't want a lot of very erratic acts just like with crankbaits how you want little to no wobble in cold water with the same deal with soft plastics um so instead of the big flop 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 down they're just kind of fluttering down and that's that's why these work well in cold water um, like i said i keep pretty simple with green pumpkin black and blue a small finesse compact jig here um for some stained water this combination work well for me but uh, yeah, so if you're talking cold water, I stick with Zoom Chunk. For that situation, they make a couple different sizes. Now, the next situation I'm talking about is mid to high 50s, 60 degree water primarily, and then also those 70 to 80 degree days where the bite's slow, where you know their metabolism is higher, so they want to see a little more action than something like a chunk, but they don't want to see the full the full blown action like I'm going to get to with some of these other baits. What are we talking about here next? Baits like that. Here's, zoo, here's the um, Berkeley Chicken Curl. I also throw a lot in max scent. Um, really helps them latch on. But anyways, with that, I kind of keep it simple just with green pumpkin, black and blue. Um, every now and then an Okeechobee Curl and a watermelon orange. But aside from those, I keep it pretty simple. Um, this is just a Okeechobee Curl, uh, green pumpkin, blue color, compact jig, uh, custom made. But anyways, um, you're still getting, you're getting that fluttering action now. You're getting a little of more kick than you are with the chunk, but you're not getting a crazy amount of kick like some of these other baits when the fish are really active. So just a sugar crawl has been around for years. Very good bait. Now another bait in that category that's not nearly as well known, but still catches them really good is the uh, Cabin Creek Baits Express Crawl. Now, Cabin Creek's a very small company. It's kind of a Northeast thing, I will admit. Um, but this, I have caught, as a jig trailer, I've caught a lot of fish on this. And I usually bite down two or three ribs, depending on up here. As you can see, depending on uh, uh, how big my jig is. But again, same situation. You're still getting the flop of the, of the tentacles um going down but you're not getting the crazy action like a few of these other baits i'm going to get to here um for for the express crawl hands down their best color is dirty dark um i don't know if they make them anymore but they do they did make a couple uh a dirty dark um i forget the name but it does have some blue in it and then or a dirty dark voodoo which has some more defined brown in it and those both work really well. Um, of course, you know, they have their, their green pumpkin, which is a lighter one, is, is a good smally color, as well as green pumpkin copper, green pumpkin blue. And then the color Mama Doris, which is more of a greener green pumpkin, great trailer for largemouth fish and all So, again, for a more um, mid-action uh, jig trailer with the, um, with the uh, jigger crawl, check out the Cabin Creek Express Crawl. Uh, it's a bait not a lot of people are throwing, and I'm going to tell you right now, it catches fish. So, now we're going to get, what baits we're going to get into are more of your 70 to 80 degree water day baits, and when the fish are active. These baits have a lot of just flopping action through with their tentacles, um, and we're going to start here. So, if you're looking for a finessier approach with a lot of action still for either smallmouth or pressured fish, um, check out the net bait Tiny Pocket Chunk. Again, this bait has a lot of action falling down through, and it's great for those really tiny micro jigs. One of my favorite baits for micro jigs is the pocket chunk. It's this type of jig you're throwing most likely on a spinning rod, 
a light wire hook, and you're still getting that action, and you're also getting that finished presentation. So definitely a small mouth thing, but also catches the large mouth. Now, next two baits we're talking are probably my two favorite jig trailers for when the fish are active. Um, and that's really the way it is. The Rage Tail. Um, Straight King Rage Crawl. Uh, I'm gonna get into this here in a minute. They also have that coffee set. You can really smell that. Get you some bites. This happens to be the Crawdad color. This is kind of like an orangish, dark brown. Um, really good crawfish imitation. And like I said, these are just all, like just like all the they're just pumping action down. Um, really good for getting bites on the fall because you're throwing that out there with maybe a little bit of a heavier jig, maybe instead of quarter, you're bumping up to three eighths. And you're getting a, you can get a reaction bite with that, but also as you're working on the bottom, you're getting these these tentacles are moving hard. Um, definitely caught a lot of good fish on them. And another color I really like, obviously for them, would also be green pumpkin. And my favorite has got to be um, Dirty Crawl. It's a very similar color to the Cabin Creek uh, Dirty Dark color, but it has some copper and green flake. It's not something you see a lot. Um, done very well on lakes and rivers on that bait. Um, now for the last bait with action, and this also has a couple more multi-dimensional uses. I'm going to keep this a little bit of a secret before I show it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Yeah, that's right. Gary Yamamoto double-tailed grub. You may have recently seen my video on fishing the hula grub as a finesse uh, presentation, but the double-tailed grub is awesome too. Um, very simple jig trailer, not a lot of bulk to it, but again, these tentacles are flopping. They're making a lot of commotion. Again, the, it's a bait you get a lot of bites on the fall. Um, I probably only throw about three colors of these. This one here is cinnamon brown purple flake. Of course, I throw green pumpkin, sometimes like a green pumpkin candy, um, watermelon and red, but those are about it. That's that's really about all I throw on these. Um, and you may think, oh, this isn't as realistic as a lot of these crawl baits, but I'm going to tell you right now, the small mouth and the large mouth, they still love it. I don't know what it is. I can't explain it. It's definitely, again, not as realistic, but the action these things put out is one of a kind. So, um, Gary Yamamoto double tail grub, in my opinion. Um, this is the best one I've thrown other double tails. This one hands down has the most action. So there it is, guys. A little video on uh, jig trailers for slow conditions, cold water conditions, moderate conditions, and also hot water conditions when the fish are active. It's Team Eric coming to you. Appreciate you watching the video. Please check out more videos as we have them coming out. Thank you for watching this Dole Through Outdoors video. If you like this video, be sure to leave it a like, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Also, be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more Dual Throughout Doors content.